All right, guys. Finally, we're gonna try and make the Outlander more stable, handle Campbell better, burger. everything about it better. We're gonna try and start bringing more videos. Um, I know it's been a while, so we're gonna do as much as we can. You gotta remember, we're on a budget right now. Hopefully, eventually, we'll have more money and can go town on four wheelers and stuff and bring you guys more action. The more you guys watch the better the more we bring you so um we'll start it out kyle will show you what we got going here on his outlander what we're doing for an upgrade and then give you a kind of a how-to video on it and go from there all right so i went to two brothers power sports of course ordered me a box so let's find out what's inside it just a box boxes yep. make everything handle better yep been through in the stuff that was in that's in here. That set of Fox podiums. That one there's a front shock. You can tell because there's a extra little piece here. You get a bag of instructions and nuts. The instructions are not for us though. So. No. Neither is the paper. Paper's yeah, we boring. Don't need that. So there's the two front shocks. And we'll put a front next to a rear shock so you can Kind of see the difference? The rears are a little bit longer and have more travel to them. Alright, as you can see, we got the old one out. Just a little comparison of length. They are almost identical lengthwise. To the front shocks. For the front shocks, anyways. We'll see what the back ones are once we get the back ones out in a couple minutes. Alright, so. One other thing you guys can see here that's going to be a big benefit is he was running the XMR springs and shocks on his four-wheeler. You look at the shaft size on that thing, there's not a lot there versus you go to the Fox. There's a lot more suspension travel there to be had. Plus, you got all the adjustment down here. That's going to be the big thing. Mm -hmm. What is that? Five inches of preload adjustment versus a half inch? Yeah, I mean, you got a half inch there. You got five inch, and it's fine-tuning versus... You mean you got steps versus you can go yeah. millimeter, you know. And the big thing though is that suspension travel and that spring rate, you know. They're not gonna bottom out. They're not gonna bottom. Out. I mean, if he bottoms them out, he's he's hitting it hard. So should be good. A lot better than the factory ones. So. One other thing to notate that we forgot to say right away, um, when you put the new shocks in, in springs, make sure that the shaft side is down towards the bottom, towards your control arm, and the top where you adjust it is towards the top up top. One thing to note on the back, um, normally your shock goes up and down this way on the back. When you go to the Fox, they're the opposite. Your top side is gonna be up here, your bottom is down here. Um, we flip it around, you'll see the back ones. You do have a little more travel again in here. Not as much, not as big a difference as the front had, but every little bit counts. So, all right. So we got everything adjusted. We drove it. I drove it. He drove it. I think it's ten times better. Yeah, easily worth worth the money um it's a smoother ride but it's stiffer and taller like, yep yeah, it's definitely taller and more stable at the same time you know when i say it's smoother and stiffer when you're going really slow it feels stiff but once you get on it and get your speed up above say 10 miles an hour it's smooth it's smooth as butter and you know usually Usually height and stability are not two things that go together, but from driving, I drove it beforehand to and after, and it's definitely not a lot taller, but it's definitely taller, and it's definitely more stable. So I would say for the 500 and what was it, 60 bucks? Uh, I think it's five, 580 retail, the they're, MSRP. They're definitely worth it. I mean, yep. are they as good as the top of the line Fox shocks? No. Yeah, I mean, but they're definitely probably 
ten times better than the stock shocks. And he he had the XMR springs and shocks in the front. You know, then those are still different. So definitely worth it. Um, if you guys are looking to make it handle better, I'd say go spend the money. Even if you're looking at buying a brand new 450 or 570, I would say opt in, get them put on right away, and just it does make a difference if you're trail riding and stuff because it's it's not so much when you're cornering fast I would say it's when you let off in the middle of a corner they like the nose dive there's not that aspect of it anymore so right and as far as price goes I paid over 300 for the pair of XMR front springs and shocks and that's just the so front to put that into perspective it's the same cost for something that's 10 times better you actually take that and you do that to the rear you'd be at 600 600 plus dollars plus tax I mean you'd spend more for that that's not gonna it's gonna give you a little more height but it's not gonna give you the handling that yep. the Fox shocks are gonna give you and not the Fox shocks sit higher actually Fox shocks mm -hmm. and springs sit higher than the XMR so for the money go I'd go that route and if you're actually looking to get lift out of the front you could order four rear springs and shocks and put rears in the front and that'll give you some lift if that's what you're looking for. Because there is more preload adjustment left on the back than there is on the front. And we have it. It's, it's pretty close to level, maybe a hair lower in the back. but And they're an inch taller to start. Yeah. So, definitely worth it. Um, subscribe, like, like I said earlier in the video, the more, give us feedback to Ask what, questions what you guys want to see from us, what you want to see us build, what you want to see us do. As long as we can afford it, we're going to do it. Um, so anything within reason right now. But have a good day, guys. Enjoy wherever you guys are. The weather's beautiful here, 75 degrees and mm -hmm. sunny. So have a good day. End it. <laughs> Keep that in the video.